guys, so I just finished work in central London today and I thought I would head to Oxford Street to do a spot of maternity shopping because none of my clothes fit me anymore and it's that time really, I'm starting to show and everything. So I thought I would just take you guys along with me. By the way, can I just say that being pregnant at the moment means that I constantly need to pee all the time and I'm absolutely desperate to pee right now so I think as soon as I get in to Topshop or somewhere like that I'm just going to have to leg it to the toilet. Do you know what's really sad is the fact that I just walked past Hanley's and got a little bit excited about the fact that pretty soon I'm going to have an excuse to shop in there. And I used to love going in there when I was little, so I'm really excited about that. Toy shopping! Now, I am not the biggest fan of H&M, but I know their maternity section is quite cheap, so I'm going to go downstairs and have a look if there's anything that takes my fancy. Okay, so the maternity section is an absolute state. It's so messy, I can't shop in it, so I'm heading to Topshop. Hopefully it'll be more successful than last time, hey? So as usual, they don't have any size 8s. I'm just waiting for her to see if she can find a men's stock room for me. So I might peruse the shoes while I wait. Okay, so I waited for ages and she brought me out a few size 8s. I'm um, not massively keen on this vest top because I like more of a scoop neck vest top. Um, but I think I'll probably get the pencil skirt for office wear just because it's got loads of room in it for a bump and stuff. It's not the most flattering by the way but it'll do for work and I know I'll probably kick myself if I don't get it while there's a size 8. That's what it looks like. Ignore the horrible top. Um, here's the little bun. I've got the black top top knee jeans on now and they're in a size 8 and they fit really well and um, they've got the roll up part on them as well we folded it down but and there's lots of room in there for a bump so i think i will definitely be picking these up while they have them um, i also want to pick up blue ones as well that i tried on last time i'm so annoyed that i didn't get them um, but i think i'll probably order the blue ones online um, so anyway My belly button looks like it's probably sticking out now. And last thing I'm trying on is this little maternity skater dress. When you saw it, they've turned the music up so loud. I don't know why they've done that. It's really stressful. Anyway, so I'm trying on this maternity skater dress. Um, it fits really nicely, but I'm not sure if it's like really that flattering on me. Um, have a look and see what you think. It's kind of like. Bottom half look bigger than it is, I think. I'm not sure if you can really tell. I just feel like it makes me look bigger. And you can't really, like, can't really see my bump unless you do that. Not sure about that one. Hi guys, so I just got home and comfy. I thought that I would show you what I got here because it was so loud in town. So I ended up just getting two things and I got the little, I ended up getting the little pencil skirt just because I thought. I'm gonna get big pretty quickly, so just while I was there, I thought I'd pick up something that I could wear for work. And it's made out of like a really sort of stretchy jersey material, so it should be really comfy for work in the winter while I'm fat. So I picked up that one, I think that was 20 pounds. And then I got the black Lee jeans, and they look like that. And they've just got that stretchy waistband at the top so they're really comfortable and the fabric's really soft and feels a bit stretchy as well so that's that and I also picked up a pair of boots which wasn't on the list but I wanted a little treat but I don't know if I'm going to keep those yet anyway while I am here in front of the camera I thought I would update you on week 17 and 18 because I've been a bit naughty and I didn't do my filming last week okay so mood wise it's been a much better couple of weeks actually and I don't want to speak too soon and I think a lot of the reason why it has been better for the past couple of weeks is because I did call up a mid my midwife and I went 
uh, for an appointment with my doctor as well, just to be booked in for some counselling. I still haven't had any counselling yet, but I'm on a waiting list. Even just like going to ask to be put on a waiting list kind of took a bit of the pressure off me and I, I felt like instantly relieved afterwards. So I definitely recommend if you're like going through a similar sort of pregnancy mood wise to me, it is really difficult to go into the doctor and say you're feeling depressed and stuff because you're not supposed to feel like that when you're pregnant but it, it will make you feel better so I definitely would recommend doing that. I think another reason why I felt better mood wise is because I sort of forced myself to be a bit more social. I had some friends from university come to visit me in London a couple of weekends ago so that was nice and also Stefan and I have been going to like theatre, been to the movies, went to see some classical music so I think just keeping busy has made my mood better as well. Also I have been to a couple of a couple I've been to a couple of pregnancy yoga classes now. I wasn't really sure about the first one. I mean it was good but I felt a bit weird and I was really nervous going to it as well because obviously I look a lot younger than I am and I didn't really know what to expect and it was kind of like no one really spoke to each other that much but I think as the week go on everyone will be less nervous and more chatty and stuff well that's what I'm hoping anyway but it was really nice and it kind of helped me to sort of clear my mind a bit and it's just good to do some exercise and they show you like uh, different late uh, they show you um, different positions that you can use when you're having contractions and just ways to keep fit while you're being while, while you're being pregnant. Sorry, I'm really stuffing this up. Yeah, so I think that's just helped me improve my mood and it's like somewhere where you can go and sort of focus on just you and the baby and it's kind of comforting in a way. This sounds a bit weird, but it's kind of comforting to be in a room with just other pregnant people. I don't know why but it just was. So anyway, that helped my mood as well. And I did have to force myself to go the second time just because I wasn't having a very good day. But it did make me feel better and I'm glad I went and I'm gonna keep going. So I would definitely recommend that to you guys as well if you're having a bit of a tough pregnancy or even if you're not having a tough pregnancy, it's a really good way to do some gentle exercise and just make a connection with the baby and stuff. So. Um, movement wise, I have had a lot of movement in the past couple of weeks. I mean, I had um, a couple of days where the baby must have been sleeping or something when I was awake because I didn't really feel very much. But then when Steph and I started going to like the theatre and the movies and stuff, I got some really big kicks, like they made me jump. And basically it's just been getting like more and more frequent. I've started to feel it actually today when I've been like moving around, like walking around and just doing things. And that's like, that's different than how it was before because before it's, it would just be when I was sat down quietly somewhere um, that I would really notice it move. And also I've noticed that I'm starting to be kicked on the right hand side as well as the left hand side because before it was just on the left. So I think the baby's really starting to like do some somersaults and stuff. Um, and also when I go to bed at night, um, I must really annoy the baby or something when I roll over because I keep rolling from side to side every couple of hours and every time I do it I think it's just maybe him like shifting him his little self around to get comfy again or something but every time I roll over I can feel him like moving around and giving me a little punch. My symptoms have kind of died down in the past couple of weeks to be honest. I'm still getting acne, the acne's got quite bad. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell because I've got a face full of makeup on obviously. My mood obviously isn't great, it's been better but it's still not great. Everything else is kind of fine really. Um, had some weird like leaky boob thing which <laughs> I don't know if I should really share on YouTube, but so I've started using some nipple balm, really glamorous. But um, other than that, everything's pretty normal. I'm quite tired. Um, I've started napping again at my lunch times at work. I had to have a couple of days off work just from being tired and emotional. The cravings have kind of just disappeared, to be honest. I mean, I've still got a massive sweet tooth, but I had a sweet tooth before I was pregnant anyway. I do just want to eat like cakes and chocolates and things but I've been trying to force myself now that I can eat like properly again and I don't feel sick all the time I've been trying to make myself 
be a bit more careful about what I'm eating and just try and be more healthy and stuff. And I'm really enjoying my food again, which is great because I hated not being able to eat. Like that was such a bad symptom for me because I love food, so. This hasn't really got anything to do with like my body and stuff, but we finally picked a push chair, um, which I'm so happy about because I don't know if it's just me or if any of you other guys who are pregnant out there find push chair shopping really stressful, but there's just so many to pick from. And I literally spent like five hours one day reading it about push chairs and I was just like, oh God, which one do I pick? There is so, so many. and. I, I don't know if I'm going to pick the right one and then I started getting really stressed about it and then basically I just had a bit of a meltdown and I was just crying going oh, I'm going to pick the wrong pusher, help me um, so Steph helped me pick one and I think we're going to go for the Stoke Explory we haven't gone into a shop to look at it yet um, but I think we'll definitely end up getting a Stoke if it's either the Stoke Explory or the Stoke Scoot I'm not sure whether we're going to get the carry cot thing for it yet but um, I haven't decided on that. I think I'm going to ask um, a shop assistant or something whether we should get that. Or if any of you guys recommend getting the carry pot, then please let me know because I'm really not sure whether to get it or not and it's quite expensive. I'm really excited about getting that. I think we're going to order it after the 20 week scan next week. And then so we'll have our little push chair in the house and then everything's going to feel really real after that. I think we're going to get the push chair in the cot just so I can stop stressing about it basically because I just feel anxious that we haven't really like done anything yet. We haven't bought anything yet and it's like nearly five months now and I'm like oh god we're gonna and I don't want to get like really big and then not be able to shop and then I'll be freaking out even more. Steph ordered me a couple of pillows off Amazon because um, I've been having trouble sleeping and getting comfy and it literally takes me like five million pillows for me to get comfy. So we ordered this um, like V-shaped, it's, it's like a uh, pregnancy pillow but then you can use it as a nursing pillow afterwards. It looks like that. And it also comes with this little wedgie pillow which is incredible. I love this thing. I think I'll probably end up still sleeping with this after I've given birth. But I just thought I'd mention those because I've, they've really helped me out the past couple of nights and I've only used them for a couple of nights but I will update you with how I get on with them. And I think it's really good that you, this one is sort of transitional, that you're not just using it for pregnancy, you can use it for nursing and feeding afterwards and you can prop the baby up in it and stuff. Now I'm going to show you guys the belly for the end of week 18. So this is... I'm sorry that it's jumping from what you saw last time, which was week 16, straight to the end of week 18. But anyway, I'm going to show you. This is the belly at the end of week 18. Um, my measurements seem to kind of like fluctuate between... Oh, sorry. Measurements are seeming to fluctuate between 29 and 30 inches. Um, I definitely feel like it's rounded out a bit more this week, especially from the front. I don't know if you can see, definitely feel like it's got a bit rounder. People have started to notice more this week as well. That's the belly for 18 weeks. I hope you enjoyed the um, little Topshop trip and the 17 and 18 week update. I will see you next week and we're having our, I forgot to mention this actually, we're having our anomaly scan next week for the 20 week scan and we're finally finding out the sex of the baby so I will take you with me for that. Alright, see you next week, bye!